Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Poke Penguin. I hope you are all doing well and welcome to my final video of 2023. This channel was created in 2023 and now this is my final video of the year as the holidays approach. I'm gonna take the last Saturday off of this year just to spend time with family and everything like that. So there's no pressure. I wanna make sure, you know, these videos are fun and well paced and everything and I don't wanna feel rushed uh, doing my final video of the year. So I thought I'd do a little special now. And uh, the special is actually going to cross the two years. So as you can see in front of you guys, we have two Elite Trainer Box Pluses. The Zamazenta one and the Zacian. So these were released kind of earlier on in the Sword and Shield era. And they are like beefier Elite Trainer Boxes. As you can see, I'm going to flip over the Zacian one so you can kind of see the back. Right here we have tons of packs, you get some promo cards, uh, the box itself just looks different, and then you get higher quality kind of add-ins, and a little booklet, as always with ETBs and some sleeves. So I thought these would be fun boxes to open on the end of the current year of 2023 and at the beginning of the new year in 2024. So I think we are going to open up the Zamazenta box today and then we will bring in the new year on my next video with the Zacian box. I could probably open these up on the same video, but I thought, you know, I want to keep these boxes really special. They're beautiful looking boxes and uh, it'd be fun to compare them from video to video. And they're just, they're really nice boxes. I'm really excited to open them up for you guys. So I have both of them here now so you can see them, so you can see what to expect in the next year. We're gonna move the Zacian one to the side and we're gonna bring our Zamazenta one uh, right front and center. So as I mentioned, uh, this has some higher quality add-ins. On the back, it has the same design, except for, you know, the dog on the back is uh, the Zamazenta rather than the Zacian. Um, we have all the packs, we have a little booklet, some coins, the box itself, and a promo card. This is an Elite Trainer Box Plus, it's one of those special ones where we get promo cards in the Sword and Shield era, which is really, really exciting. And uh, without me talking on any more and more, let's get right into it. I'm really, really excited for this box. Um, I think this is just a perfect way to close out the year, you know, nice little special box for you guys. I wanted to do something a little bit special, so I thought this two-parter uh, little thing would be fun. It'd be a fun little thing to do. And so in S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, this era ended this year, which honestly feels like a while ago. I mean, my first video on my channel, if you guys have been here from the start, which if you have been here since the start, I know you and I appreciate you. <laughs> um, thank you for supporting me throughout this year. Um, I didn't think I'd keep on doing this, but I'm having tons of fun opening uh, all these Pokemon product on YouTube. But uh, yeah, it, there's a bunch of Sword and Shield stuff. It'll be a nice little way to celebrate the end of an era uh, this year. So here's the box, which is crazy good looking. I mean, look at that pattern. You got the Zamazenta connecting on both ends with that nice black and gold. It just pops out really nice. And the back is actually a different design as well. That's just really, really clean looking. I like that a lot. I'm probably going to keep the uh, cardboard insert so I can have the full display of this box. It's a it's really nice quality and it has like a matte finish. Um, I'm so far really, really impressed. So there is the cardboard insert that I mentioned, which I'm just going to pull out. I'm going to try and save it because I want to be able to display the box in its full glory because this is this is beautiful. Um, I've been seeing this box at my local card shop for a while now and I've been hesitant because you know it's on the pricier side especially with it being an older uh, product from the Sword and Shield era you know they've started to get a little bit pricier but I think this is definitely going to be worth it um, trying to take the cardboard out without damaging it. All right. This is definitely going to be a box more for display rather than um, usage. Let's put it that way. The dividers are really nice looking too. I'm just taking everything out and then I'll show everything on camera. I don't want to knock over my camera. The box is a little bit bigger than normal. So let me just get everything out and then I'm going to reset the box and we will go over everything. Um, I'm really, really excited. The selection of packs. Um, it's from the earlier time of the Sword and Shield era, so um, it's not going to be any like crazy sets like uh, Evolving Skies or um, what's the other one that everyone really, really likes? Silver Tempest, Lost Origin, stuff like that. It's going to be stuff from the later uh, Sword and Shield era. 
so you know what i mean sorry earlier not the later um but there's still some really really good sets from that so taking out everything here is the code card for the etb plus um you guys feel free to use that i don't need any fancy stuff on my uh tcg online i'm just having fun opening this in person so here are the sleeves um, matches perfectly with the box itself really nice quality um you get this uh, little trading card game rules, which is really helpful if you are learning how to play. Really, really nice. You get, of course, the packs. So we have Vivid Voltage. We have Darkness Ablaze, Rebel Clash, and Sword and Shield Base. So hopefully we can get some, some good pulls out of this. Uh, I'm really excited to see what we can get. Vivid Voltage is, of course, what I am most excited for. As you guys know, my first video, like I mentioned, was a Vivid Voltage opening. And I really like that set. You got the big uh, Pikachu VMAX and everything. Um, hopefully we can pull that. Maybe, maybe we can uh, finally get that chase. These boxes have been sitting for a while. Maybe it's got all the luck in there. I'll put the packs there for now. Um, we also get these really cool, just clean dividers. Nothing really crazy going on with them, but they just look nice. Really clean. I like them a lot. Um, then, it just keeps on going. So, this just really feels like um, an Ultra Premium collection before Ultra Premium collections were a thing. Because we get this crazy cool looking coin. It did fall out of its packaging, so it got a little bit scuffed. But um, I'm not too worried about that. It's still a cool looking coin with Zamazenta carved in on there. You also get this damage counter. This one also fell out of its packaging, unfortunately. But it's just a little damage counter right there. As well as this one, the poison one. This one uh, stayed in its little baggie. But yeah, the problem with these is that, you know, the plastic, it's not the strongest. So uh, they fell out, but that's fine. I'll just slip it back in there and put that off to the side. And then you also get dice. I'm just throwing this back here. It's like a regular ETB, but um, fancier, <laughs> which I will never complain about. And here are the dice. These ones did not fall out of the bags. So, and these are all metal. They all have some decent weight to them. It's a lot like the Charizard UPC. And uh, finally, we get a Zamazenta gold card. Look at that, that pattern of just the light bouncing off of the gold. It's so pretty. Uh, let me take this out of the bag for you guys and get a better look of that and then we'll throw it in a sleeve but th this this is a really high quality product if you can find this out in the wild it will honestly wasn't that badly priced etbs right now are going for 50 bucks i think around that i can't remember what the new um scarlet violet pricing is i think it's around 50 bucks but this was 75 each at my local card shop and i think it's even cheaper on some other websites um, depending on who you buy it for. I like just paying the little bit extra and going to my local card shop because one, I'm supporting a local business. I really like doing that. And two, I know it's legit. <laughs> so I know my money's going to a good place, you know? So uh, sometimes you, you gotta take a hit uh, in order to get a beautiful product like this. But here is that Zamazenta gold card promo. This is just beautiful. This looks amazing. Um, it, it, the, the black and gold looks great and everything. It's, it's a really, really nice box. I'm super, super pumped to open this and I'm super, super pumped to open the other one next year, uh, for you guys. And we can compare which one had the better pulls. The contents of the boxes are very, very similar, except, uh, obviously switched for the legendary Pokemon. And I thought I'd just start with Zamazenta since that's the one I'm not, you know, too into i like uh Zacian better because it reminds me of the dog meme where the dog is running around with a knife in his mouth um <laughs> i'll try and put like a picture of that on or something like that i just think it's goofy but um zamazenta is really cool too and here is the uh series player's guide so normally in etbs you get a uh, set list but since this is more of a um collection of everything you get more of a collection of everything that they really have out and uh, just, you know, insight on how the game is played. And then I believe there's a list of promo cards. Yeah. So Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield series promo card list. And this is as of the release of this product. There's definitely more. That card is adorable. I've seen that a couple times at my local card shop. I might cave one day and purchase that one. Um, I think that's the McDonald's one. I have that one graded from when I went to uh, uh, regionals. Um, just lots of really cool promo cards that you can see all around. Um, 
the big chase that everyone really likes is that special delivery Charizard um, from the Pokemon Center. But it's just a really nice little collection piece. Uh, if you want to check off the promo cards you got, you can do that with that little, uh, little booklet. And with all that out of the way, we have all of these packs to get through. This is why I want to separate uh, this into different parts, because you have all these amazing sets, and I want to be able to appreciate all these packs. Um, I'm going to flip the stack over, actually, though, because I want to save Vivid Voltage for last, and we'll start with how the cards released. First off, with the Sword and Shield base set. I've opened up a few of these packs here and there, but not not that much. Um, it's still a pretty cool set. I, I like a decent amount of the cards that I've seen so far, and hopefully maybe we can add to the collection. Let's see if we can. I'm not too sure if the co-cards are spoilers or not, so I accidentally revealed that, but we will see. Gotta remember to do the pack trick. And we're getting into our first opening of, or pack opening of this video. <laughs> Jumping over my words because I'm so excited. This is just a really, really fun box. I'm already having fun and I'm only on my first pack opening. So let's see if we can get any anything out of this first pack. But sharp reverse and a cinder is hollow. Hey, hollow is still a pull in the sword and shield era. So I will take it. We'll move that over in the back there. Kind of see in the back. There we go. We have so much going on over here. We'll just put that in the back there. Any bigger pulls, we'll put with the um, Zamazenta. But uh, yeah, th this is just a really fun, fun box. So I recommend you guys getting it if you can. That Pikachu is amazing. Um, and I actually haven't seen that much art from the Sword and Shield base set. So this is just fun for me to uh, see what else the Sword and Shield era has to offer. I join in on the Pokemon collecting hobby around Vivid Voltage. So there's a lot of sets that I just haven't really opened much of. And it's really fun for me to uh, see this art that I haven't seen that's been out for a while. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. Um, rare Candy Reverse and a Stonejourner Regular Rare. That is fine. I'm hoping we kind of get some meh pulls uh, at this beginning of the opening because then we can save all the heat for later. But if there's a Snorlax VMAX card, which I'm assuming there will be because uh, he's on the pack art, I would love to get that. So let's see if we can pull it out of this final Sword and Shield base set pack. We have three of each. Here's the code card. And then I gotta remember to keep on doing the pack trick. I'm so used to Scarlet Violet era where you kinda just rip and go. Um, gotta remember, you gotta do a four from the back. Let's keep it going. Energy Search, Eldegoss, Cottony, Galarian Ponyta, Mincino, Krabby, Chinchou, Kalabapus Reverse, it's a very cute Kalabapus card, and a Thievil Regular Rare. So not that much out of this, uh, the base set, but that's fine. We got plenty of other sets to go through. And hopefully we can get um, some decent pulls from there. We still got a hollow, so that's not too bad. Um, it's just I'm just having fun opening everything. I'm having fun celebrating the end of the year with this beautiful collection box. Um, and it's been it's been a heck of a year. Um, like I mentioned, this has been the year where I started my channel nine months ago. I checked up on my YouTube channel before hit and record. Nine months ago was my first opening where I opened up uh, the Vivid Voltage. Um, booster box. Oh, that's an adorable Growlithe. Oh, that's really good. Very good boy. Uh, but I opened up a Vivid Voltage booster box in two parts because, let's be real, Pokemon's expensive. Grub in reverse and a Galarian Darmanitan regular rare. So at the beginning of this channel, I had to split up uh, my uh, openings in two different parts. Can you blame me? <laughs> it's not cheap to collect Pokemon cards. It's still fun though. <laughs> Um, but during that time I got a little promotion in my job so I made a little bit more money and I was able to do uh, booster boxes within one part. Um, we've been through different eras of the Pokemon TCG within this year. We wrapped up the Sword and Shield era and we started up the Scarlet and Violet era which has been a ton of fun recently. We had a huge change of cards. We had trainer galleries, Galarian galleries, and now we have these art rares and special art rares. I love that Sandy Gas. I love the Claymation cards. They're so good. Oh, very cute Vulpix too. This art is amazing. Rebel Clash kind of gets trashed on, but I'm liking the art that I'm seeing. Um, Electrode Reverse. Ooh, here we go. I'll take that. I'll take that. Here we go. Gold with the gold. <laughs> Very fitting to get a gold card with a gold box. We got this Frostmoth gold card. Look at that. 
Snom is one of my favorite, like, derpy little guys. I mean, look at him. So this frost moth is beautiful. Wow, I love getting the um, gold card Pokemon cards as well, rather than trainers. I don't know, I just think they're a little bit more dynamic. But there are a couple trainers that I do like. And this frost moth is beautiful. And like I said, we got gold with gold. Look at that. <laughs> That'd be funny if the only uh, pulls we get are gold cards. Um, but you'd have to be insanely lucky for that. Oh, look at that, like, rainbow bouncing off of the gold. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful card. Put that in the back there. And, uh, we are on our final pack of Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash has been treating us well. Like I said, Rebel Clash kind of got trashed on. Um, I guess not that many people were into it when it was releasing, but I'm, I'm really liking this set with all the art that we're seeing. Um, I'm having a fun time. Um, but like I was saying, through the, the eras of the TCG, you know, lots of cards changes, changed. Um, we experienced a lot of changes throughout the year. Um, at the end of the Sword and Shield era, we also ended Rainbow Rares, which um, I kind of like. I, I, you know, I like getting Rainbow Rares, don't get me wrong. I mean, my big chase of Vivid Voltage is that Rainbow Rare Pikachu, Dragapult Reverse, and a Butterfree Regular Rare. Um, however... If you had to, you know, say either take the rainbow rares or take the uh, secret art rares, which one would you prefer? I'm going to obviously take the secret art rares. Those are amazing. So, uh, you know, it's a give and a take, right? It's a balance. Um, and speaking of rainbow rares, I believe Darkness Ablaze has a big uh, rainbow rare chase for everyone where it's the rainbow rare uh, VMAX Charizard, I believe. So uh, let's see. Let's see if we're really lucky, but I want to see my rainbow rare luck for a uh, big Pikachu. <laughs> we'll see. They're, rainbow rares are always uh, fun to pull because you just never expect them and they just look nice. But uh, I am happy that, you know, we're, we're changing things up. We're keeping things fresh in the TCG as we change these, uh, these eras. So yeah, it's been a long journey this past year, but it's been a fun one and I see some shine in the back there. So we got a bird keeper reverse. And a Galarian Stunfisk V. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, so far we've gotten a Hollow, a Gold card, and a regular V card. All we're needing is a V Max. And we kind of got everything uh, other than a Rainbow Rare, obviously. But there we go. Galarian Stunfisk looking like a little bear trap. Oh, Pikachu's looking off to the side. I didn't realize I bumped him. There we go. <laughs> All right. I'm just moving uh, some cards around in my table so I can have a little bit more space to work with. I like to keep my, my piles organized of uh, all the sets that I'm opening up, so it's a little bit easier for me to organize at the end of the opening. There's the, the Charizard that everyone chases after uh, in Darkness Ablaze. If you look at the, the prices of the um, booster boxes of Darkness Ablaze, they've, they've bumped up in price because obviously everyone wants to get that guy. Um, there we go. They keep on flipping the code cards, so I'm trying to like hide it for you guys so there's a little bit more suspense with these packs. But, uh, oh well. You know, you can't win them all. <laughs> Maybe I'll remember on the last one. Um, but yeah, this has been been a really, really good year for, for Pokemon TCG. You know, we owe, oh, that's a beautiful Mareep. Oh, look at him. Very, very good. <laughs> you know, there's always ups and downs uh, in terms of the card collecting, like, you know, the um, uh, Heat Energy Reverse and Kling Clang. You know, the, the whole Van Gogh Pikachu drama where scalpers were you know, spiking that price like crazy and it crashed. You know, there's ups and downs with the collecting hobby, but overall I said, I think uh, we had a lot of good than bad in terms of this year. Um, and there's a lot of good stuff coming out of this year. I don't believe Ultra Premium Collection started this year. That more started in celebrations with uh, that UPC, which hint, hint, I have that um, actually. And I'm waiting to open it on my 50 subscriber special. So uh, anyone who's been subscribing recently, I see you and I appreciate you. And uh, we're slowly getting towards that goal of 50 subscribers. I'm hoping to get uh, to that next year. It's a little bit hard to collect subscribers um, and build up those numbers, but um, slow slowly we'll get there. Um, there's no rush, but I'm really, really excited to open up that UPC. Um, it started back then, but we really capitalized that on, on the UPCs this year with the Charizard uh, UPC. I believe that came out this year. If I'm wrong, I'll pop up a correction. Maybe we have one a year, but we definitely had the 151 UPC, which was probably one of my favorite boxes of the year, um, if not my favorite box of the year. I'm not counting these ones, even though I'm having a ton of fun with it. Um, 
just because it wasn't released uh, this year. But in terms of my openings, I'm having a ton of fun with this uh, this Ultra um, ETB. <laughs> I'm already forgetting the official name, but uh, oh well. Jeez, I'm all, I'm all over the place. We got Vivid Voltage coming, so let's see if we can uh, fulfill the chase, maybe. There's no way I'm going to be able to buy the, the Rainbow uh, Pikachu VMAX online, so we'll see if we can get that uh, in these boxes. We will see. Um, Wheel, Beldum, Fampy, Duskull, Bay uh, Trainer, and a Duskinoir regular hollow. We'll just throw that in the back there. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a really good year, and thank you to everyone who's been supporting me this year um, with my channel and everything, kind of cheering me on and liking my videos and watching, even just seeing the views seeing that people are watching and, and liking these videos, I, I really appreciate it. Um, if anyone wants to discuss anything Pokemon related in the comments down below, feel free to do so. I would love to talk about the hobby with anyone who is willing to chat. Um, that's the whole reason why I made this channel is I want to be able to, to share my excitement for the, the TCG and getting back into it. Um, so if anyone wants to talk about it, just drop a comment down below. I'd love to chat. Um, and love to see how this uh, hobby will will change over the course of next year. Tornadus. <gasps> oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so close. Pikachu VMAX. This is the regular VMAX, but I will take it. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. When I actually have this one in my collection, but my friend pulled it and I was really excited to get it. Don't get me wrong, my collection, but this one I pulled myself. Oh my goodness. Look at him. He's so big. He's so big. <laughs> so the, the big chase for this set for me is him, but rainbow. <laughs> so I don't know if we're going to get that. We got two pulls out of Vivid Voltage. So I don't know if we're going to get that, but... We do have our final pack of the video. As I was getting all sappy with you guys, I, I pulled the big man. Um, <laughs> a little silly. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for supporting me this year and uh, cheering me on and everything. Uh, I'm really, really having fun with this channel, learning all the new things. I mean, I came a long way from, uh, from the start of this. I, I'm still filming on my iPhone, but I think I'm a little bit better when it comes to filming, a little bit brighter. Um, you know, I still have my hiccups here and there, but uh, I moved from editing on an iPad to an actual computer, which is huge. It actually looks a, a lot better. Um, or at least I'd like to think it does with all the edits and everything. It's just a lot easier to pop up things. Um, I still got to get used to the system, but uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun editing on my computer rather than my iPad. And we're ending this off with a Yanmega regular rare. Um, but I do have another video planned in the future. It's going to be very different than an opening. I need to figure out how I'm going to edit it. So, uh, we'll see how that goes next year. Those are, those are going to be exciting to, to do. I have a couple ideas and I'm hoping I can do a couple. But, um, that has been the Zamazenta, um, premium ETB collection opening. Let me organize our polls and then we will do a recap to finish off the video. See you then. All right, and we are back with our recap. We really struck gold on this really nice gold collection box. Um, I had a ton of fun opening this. This product is really, really nice. Like I mentioned in the video, if you can find this, definitely try and get your hands on it and open it because it is amazing. Um, like I said, I'm keeping the, the cardboard inside here and uh, having it displayed all nice like this on my collection uh, shelf. It's gonna look really nice right next to the uh, Zacian box once I open that. It's just such a beautiful design. I'm really, really loving these boxes. I'm very happy I picked them up. And uh, like I mentioned, uh, keep an eye out next year. That is when the Zacian opening will um, occur. I have the box right over here. It's still sealed. I'm not opening it until on the video. So uh, we'll see how they, uh, they stack up against each other. But this box, like I said, we struck gold. It was really, really nice. We got two regular hollows. I'm gonna keep them in the recap because in the Sword and Shield era, you typically do not get hollows. So we got those two, Dusk Noir and Cinderace. Nothing crazy. 
And then in terms of the bigger pulls, here's the first gold that we got. This is a promo card that came with the box. This is Amazenta Gold. Really, really nice looking gold card. I can't wait to put this with all my other ones. It's, it's beautiful. Um, we got that. We got a Galarian Stunfix V. This is actually our only like regular card that we got because we got some other crazy pulls. We got a Pikachu V Max. Look at him, big little man. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, I, I, I love Pikachu VMAX, he's just hilarious. Um, if I can insert a clip of him in the actual game, I'll try to. I need to figure out how to do that, but it's just silly. <laughs> I really like Pikachu VMAX. And then we struggled again with this Frostmoth gold card. It's a really beautiful card. I love the contrast with the, the white of Frostmoth and just the gold background popping. It just looks really nice. I mean, you can't beat Snom, look at him. He's a silly little guy. But uh, yeah, that has been the Zamazenta um, Premium ETB openings. That was actually called uh, Elite Trainer Box Plus. My bad. I had to look over at the, at the packaging. That has been the Elite Trainer Box Plus opening. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this year's worth of videos. Um, sorry I'm taking that last uh, Saturday off, but you know family's gonna be around I don't want to be rushed to make a video I want to make sure I'm having fun on camera with you guys having fun with everything I don't want to make this feel like a chore and I just want to keep the energy up make it nice and fun so uh no pressure for that one but we will start out the new year opening up we'll move this to the side the Zacian uh elite trainer box plus so we'll open up the year with that and then hopefully crossing my fingers um we can make it to that 50 subscriber special we'll open up the celebrations ultra premium collection i'm really really excited about that um that's a really really nice product too i think i'll have a lot of fun opening it i'm having tons of fun opening these and it's similar product with the the nice gold dice and everything like that so i'm really excited i'm excited for what next year has to offer so with that being said thank you thank you thank you to everyone who has supported me in this year of 2023 uh supporting this new little channel um thank you for sticking around commenting doing all that fun stuff i see you and i appreciate you um, and I will catch you guys next time, next year. See you then. Peace.